so uh, <clears throat> this problem right here, um, they provide us with the uh, derivative of f of t, which is f prime of t as we see here, right here. And they ask us to find the original equation, which is f of t. So uh, first, uh, we, we would just take the antiderivative of this, which brings us back to uh, f of t. And they also provide us with this point right here, which, uh, which is f of 0 equals 5, not f prime of 0 equals 5. So this is going to come helpful later on. All right, here we go. So uh, f of t, which is antiderivative, uh, would equal 2 over 2 t squared. And uh, that's the first term, which is this right here. And then the second term, would uh, you just take the antiderivative of this, and that's going to that's going to be uh, since the, the since the uh, the antiderivative of sine of t is uh, negative cosine of t, and that's what we need right here. So uh, it's it'll be negative three cosine of t. So the negative cosine will give us a sine. So that's it. And as always with antiderivatives, you got to add the c in the, at the end. So uh, so here we go, and then. Uh, you could, you could simplify this if you'd like, so f of t uh, would be t squared plus 3 cosine of t plus c. Alright, and <clears throat> since they give us the, this point right here, f of 0 equals 5, and this is f of t, so this is matches perfect, so we could just take that 0 and plug it into the equation, so f of 0 would equal 0 squared plus 3 cosine of 0 plus c. So all we did is plug in the 0 uh, from, the, from the information they gave us right here. We just plugged in 0. And as we see right here, this equals 5. So this whole thing must equal, this whole thing must equal 5 right here. And therefore we could find, uh, we could solve this for c and find what that number is. And so 5 equals 0 plus 3, and cosine of 0 is 1, so 3 times 1 plus c. So all we got here is uh, c equals 2. So now, now that we found c, we can just take it back and plug it into our original equation of f of t, and uh, that would give us the, the equation of f of t. So you could just rewrite it as f of t equals t squared plus 3 uh, cosine of t plus the c, which is, as we found down there, it's 2. There we go. Thank you very much.